Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing three shirts with the Santa Claus face today, so let's get started. If you notice on your transfers, it'll show a one, which is step one, and then the next one will show a two, so that's the second one that you put on top. So now that you know, let's get going. I have three shirts that I'm gonna be doing. Um, they're all the same, and we're gonna do a family portrait with each, each one. So I wanna use the Santa Claus face on every single shirt. So first, I'm gonna show you here Within the bigger spots, you normally would use white, but since my shirt is white, um, I don't have to. So I'm just going to put red on the hat. And I like to use this little multi tool because it gets into these small areas. So right on the edges, I sometimes bump it, which actually I will show you how to fix that if you do bump it. But this little multi-tool has a little couple points on it, so whenever you're trying to get into these small spaces, it's a little bit easier than the squeegee. So I'm just gonna finish up my red and get going here. All right, looking good, looking good. Almost done, all right. So always check your fingers before you pull a transfer off. And then you wanna pull it off try to pull it from the middle since I only did this little spot on the, the top of the hat I only needed that little bit to pull off to the side so all right now let me get this out of the way and we're gonna do the black so the hardest part here is actually just lining the two up together uh, they have actually a hole there's like a little dot on the corners of these that you could use if you're using chalk that helps you line it up since I'm using ink I don't want to do that so I just line it up usually by the bottom tip and then the top is usually the easiest way for me to line it up a design but since this is all going to be black right over top it's okay if I don't line it up perfectly because it kind of covers it anyway and I get to smooth all the wrinkles out on my shirt that way this will go on nice and even so I'm not sure if you guys ever worked with the black ink before but I love it it goes on very nice and easy it's kind of a little thin, so it spreads quickly, and we don't want it on too thick because then it could potentially go underneath the transfer and bleed through. But that's why I really like this black, because it just goes nice and fast. So as you can see here, you just put your ink on, wipe it off, and that's it. So now I'm gonna remove this transfer. And since, like I said, I'm doing three shirts, I'm not washing these in between. And I will show you what I mean there also. So what do you think? How's it look? Oh, I love it. First shirt done, looking good. Okay, now let's move on to the next. Whoops, bumped the camera. All right, next shirt. This is actually a small a youth size shirt. This is the one my daughter is gonna be wearing in the picture. <laughs> So I'm using parchment paper. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet, but I use parchment paper underneath, uh, in between the layers of the shirt. That way the ink doesn't go through. And then I can leave it in there whenever I heat set, which I'm gonna do last. So here I just need to rub on the hat because that's this part we're doing. This time I'm gonna try it with a squeegee just to see if it goes a little bit quicker. I'll probably end up using the multi-tool also. That way I can just get these little tiny spots. And I see already one little bump, so I will come back and fix that. Oh, there's another one. So you guys will get to see me fix this. So just remember, when you're doing these yourself, everybody makes mistakes. It's only, you're the only one that will notice it though. <laughs> All right, so let's get this off. Get going to the next one here. And let's get our black. So this one I just have to wipe off just a little bit first. Line it up. There we go. That was kind of easy, actually. Second time. So the third time, probably even easier. <laughs> so let's get some black on top of this one now, nice and quick. If you guys have any questions at all on this, please just reach out. Very, very easy technique. I love the Santa Claus face. It could be used on so many different applications. You can use it just to make a sign itself. I love it on clothes. 
You could put it on a bag, um, a towel. There's so many things you can do with the Santa design. I absolutely love it. All right. So I can see a spot I'll show you in a minute here on how to fix that. So here's how I clean these just so you guys can see in between. So I just use a basic wipe and I just wipe them down really quick on the back on the sticky side. That way to get any ink off because if I put it on the shirt again, I want to make sure there's no ink underneath there so it doesn't smudge. And then I flip it over and I wipe off the front of it. The black um, is going to stain your transfer regardless. It stains your clothes, so it's going to stain a transfer, but it's fine. It doesn't affect the transfer in any sort of way. Okay, so let's get our last shirt done. So I got my parchment paper in there. Just going to wipe this off a little bit so it's not too terribly wet. I don't really want any water to get in with the ink because that could affect how it dries. And so I'm just going to get my little tool up here. Try to be a little bit more careful this time. This is shirt number three, though, so I can tell I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and then when I'm done, I'll come back and I will touch up a couple of these little spots that I need to. Like I said, usually when you have a mistake, you are the only person that notices it. It drives me crazy. I point it out and everybody says, no, I don't see what you're talking about. I think it looks great. <laughs> but I know it's there. All right, now let's get this top layer on. Last time, last shirt, I should say. We'll get a nice family photo with our matching shirts. Okay, make sure it's nice and even. Whenever I put these transfers down on top too, I'll make sure you give it a nice push or a nice rub. That way it'll keep any ink from getting underneath of the transfer. And there we go. Nice and quick. Love it. Just smooth it off, wipe off any excess and put it back in the container. Always check your fingers and voila. What do you guys think? So here's our mistake. So what I do is I just take a paintbrush and I just dip it in the color of ink that I want to use to cover it up. So here you can see I'm just using the black to go over top of that little red spot there. That way it'll cover it completely and you'll never see the red that came through. So now we're going to heat set. So if you are using just a basic iron at home, you're going to want to iron each side for four minutes. I'm going to use the, um, the Cricut Easy Press so that I only have to do 30 seconds on each spot. And I'm done. Tell me what you guys think. Put in the comments below if you want to try to make one yourself also. And there's our pictures.